Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a Fibonacci spiral, which is very similar to the golden spiral, but not exactly the same. We are going to construct this spiral using the Fibonacci sequence of numbers, which can be seen here on the top of the screen, in which each number in the series is the sum of the two preceding ones, starting from 0 and 1. This is a very important sequence in mathematics. As you can see here, if you add 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, uh, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13, and so on. One of the most curious things about this sequence is what differentiates from the golden spiral is that the division of each successive pair of numbers is the, in the sequence is getting closer and closer to the golden ratio. 5 whereas in the golden spiral each division is exactly 5 so now we are going to start to construct fibonacci spiral using fibonacci sequence as the lengths of the sides of successive squares so we start by drawing a square in the center of the screen with a side 1 centimeter And we are going to draw the successive squares in a clockwise direction. You can also do it in anti-clockwise, but we're going to do it here in clockwise. So we will construct the second square on the top of the first square, again with a side of one centimeter. So now to continue, our next square will be two centimeters and we will start on the top right of the previous square, as can be seen here. So we'll draw a horizontal line out two centimeters. Again, two centimeters and we will close the square. So we will continue with the third square on the bottom side with a side 3 centimeters, which is the sum of the sides of the previous two squares. Again, draw the vertical line down 3 centimeters and we will complete the square which is our fourth square and now we will continue on the left side this time so 3 plus 2 is 5 so we will draw a line 5 centimeters to the left and five vertically upwards and we will complete the square so the next pair of numbers in the sequence is five plus three which is eight so we will continue going up so we will draw a vertical line eight centimeters Now we will join these to complete our 8 centimeter square and the next pair in the sequence is 
5 plus 8, which is 13. So this time we will continue on to the right hand side. Drawing a line, 13 centimeters. And then down 13 and across 13 again to complete the square. You can continue drawing successive squares with the Fibonacci sequence, but we're going to stop here at square 13. And we're going to draw Fibonacci spiral inside of each of these squares. So once we have drawn the squares up to 13 on the sequence, you can continue as much as you want. We are going to start drawing the spiral in a thicker line using a compass. So setting the compass on the top right vertex of the first square and setting the compass to a length of one centimeter, we scribe a semicircle as can be seen here. So to continue, we set the compass on the bottom right of the first square and setting the compass to three centimeters. We are going to scribe one more arc starting at the end of the last arc. As can be seen here. And now to continue setting the compass on the bottom length, the bottom left of the first square that we drew and setting the compass to length three. We continue our spiral. And now setting the compass to five centimeters. We will continue our spiral from the previously drawn arc. And as you will notice, the where we set the compass is always aligned with the end of the previous arc. So now continuing, setting our compass to eight centimeters in a line with the previous end of the previous arc, we continue drawing Fibonacci spiral. As can be seen here, you can see it's starting to take shape. And finally, setting the compass to 13 centimeters. We draw the last arc of this spiral that we're drawing today. So here you can see how to construct Fibonacci spiral. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next video, thank you.